Hello, welcome to the Giselle Mashup. I'm Giselle, and this here is my bestie basket. I haven't cleared out my bestie basket in a long time. So I feel like it's time I clear it out. Would you like to see what's in my bestie basket? All right, let's see what's in my bestie basket. <gasps> a balloon! Ah, I love balloons. Ooh, my balloon rolls. Do you know why my balloon rolls? because my balloon has a curved surface. See, it's curved. It doesn't have any flat surfaces or corners. And that's why my balloon rolls. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is in my bestie basket. A sponge. Do you think my sponge rolls like my balloon? Let's see. Mm -mm. My sponge does not roll. My sponge slides because it has flat surfaces. See, they're all flat. Let's see what else is in my bestie basket. Ooh, a little timer. Now, my timer has some flat surfaces and a curved surface. So do you think my timer will roll or slide? Let's see. Oh yes, my timer does roll. But my timer also slides because it has flat surfaces as well. Hmm. All right, what else is in here? My ball! Do you think my ball rolls or slides? My ball rolls because it has a curved surface. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh! My little bus. Oh, my old little bus. Do you think my old little bus rolls or slides? Well, my old bus has different surfaces. It has some flat surfaces, but it also has wheels that have curved surfaces and flat surfaces too. But because my bus has curved surfaces, my bus can roll. Look at that. I love my old bus. Ooh. And what else is in here? What about my football? Does my football roller slide? Yes, my football rolls because it has a curved surface. My block. Does my block roll or slide? It slides because it has lots of flat surfaces and even corners. And, oh, what about my little picture? Oh, it's a little picture frame of me and Grub. Does it roll or slide? It slides because it has flat surfaces and even corners. And what else is in here? Oh, my bubbles. Do my bubbles roll or slide? My bubbles roll because they have a curved surface and also flat surfaces. So my bubbles also slide. Now my bestie basket has lots of things that can roll and slide, but do you know what my favorite thing to roll is? Me! <laughs> we! <laughs> roll with me! We! <laughs> mm. 
let's get art smart by making a roll and slide painting. Now, to make a roll and slide painting, you need paints and a piece of paper. And you really need to prepare the surface that you're working on because this craft can get a bit messy. And so, you know, maybe you can lay out a tablecloth or some paper. And um, it's also great to have trays or plates to work with. And you need objects that can roll and slide. Objects that roll have a curved surface and objects that slide have flat surfaces. So you can ask a grown-up to help you find some objects that can roll and slide and make sure that they're objects that you don't mind getting paint on and also it's important to use paints that are washable for this craft. The first thing that you do to make your roll and slide painting is you place some paint on a tray or a plate. Okay, so you've spread quite a bit of paint out. Now I have red and I have orange. There's some orange paint. And this is brown paint. Oh, there we go. Now any color of paint will do. Oh, is that gonna come out? Ah! Squeeze, oh, there. <laughs> and green paint. Okay. And now you take an object. I will start with my sponge. It has flat surfaces, which means it will slide. So I will dip it in, hmm, let's see, I'll dip it in red paint. I'll do this side. Okay, you see, dip, dip, dip. And then all you do, oh, I want to get every little bit of that edge, that side, that flat side. There we go. And then you just press it down on your piece of paper wherever you like, like that. Look, and I'm even going to slide the sponge. Look at that, it slides. So pretty. And let's see what else. I will take my rolling pin and I will place it in the brown paint. Roll, roll, roll. Now rolling pin absolutely rolls. It has a curved surface. So then I just roll my rolling pin, pin on my paper. Oh, look at that brown. Cool. That's fun. Okay, what's next? My cube. My cube has lots of flat surfaces. So, do you think my cube will roll or slide? My cube will slide. I'm gonna slide it over here. Slide. There we go. I'll even put some on top of the brown paint. There we go, look at that. Oh, it's looking good. And what else? Um, okay, oh, my ball. My ball will be dipped in green paint. Here we go, dip, dip, dip. Wee, ooh, it's messy, see? <laughs> and now I'm just gonna roll it across. Oh, that's a fun one, you know what? I'm even gonna do this, I'm gonna lift my tray. There we go, ooh, you gotta be careful with that. That could roll right off, look at that. I roll the paint. And I mean, I roll the ball and then it makes beautiful colors. Oh, that's neat. Okay, and what else? Oh, I'm gonna try and do that with my truck. Okay, truck. Uh, let's see, I'll do more of it. Oh, those wheels. Oh, yeah, that rolls nicely. And now. I'm gonna place it on my tray and try that again. Roll! Woo! <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe that's a little too dangerous of a mess um, that I will create if I roll it like that on my tray. I think I'm gonna do this. There, look at those tracks! Ooh, my truck rolls nicely. Oh, that's neat. Look at the tracks that that makes. 
roll truck roll. Oh, looking good. Look at that. So nice. And what else? Oh, the last object is my block. So my block, I place it right here. And then I'm going to slide it. I'll slide it around the frame. Slide, 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 slide. Ah, stunning. Look at this. Oh, I love it. And there it is, my roll and slide painting.